Good afternoon or good morning or evening whenever it is you're watching this. I want to talk about endurance and so I've come up to Wentwood Forest. This is the largest ancient forest in Wales and it's a fantastic forest. I love coming up here and just to my left here uh, is what's known as the curly oak, the oldest tree in the forest. It's over 800 years old. That would take us back to uh, the, uh, the 11th, no, sorry, the 12th or 13th century. Llewellyn the Great would have ruled Wales at that time and uh, it has withstood the test of eight, over eight centuries. It's withstood all that nature has hit it, all the storms, all the lightnings, uh, or the, the forestry industry. In fact, they're at work now. Uh, down there, I can hear the beeping. It's withstood it all, suffered and endured, and it's still standing. It's uh, March at the moment, so you can't see the leaves, but uh, in the late spring and early summer, the, the leaves will come out and show that after all these years, it still has life. And that's a fantastic testimony of uh, what this tree has uh, gone through and lived through. And that re I, I want to use this to remind you and to remind myself of the Christian life. Uh, we might not live for 800 years. In fact, we will not live for 80, 800 years. Uh, but the church has been around for far longer and it has endured the test of time. It has endured uh, uh, all kinds of persecution. And more than that, I want to encourage you as a Christian to endure as an individual whether, whether it's uh, enduring persecution or uh, hardships or a loss of a job or a financial difficulty, anxiety, depression or an illness. At this time, we are going through uh, a difficult time as a society with the coronavirus, the outbreak. So I'm out on my once a day exercise into the woods uh, to show you this tree. I love this tree and I want to uh, call you to endure this time as a Christian, to turn to the one who has endured the suffering that we deserve for our sins, Jesus Christ. He hung on a tree and died for you and for me and he raised from death. He is alive. He has endured and uh, he no longer endures but he is exalted at the right hand of the Father and he calls us to suffer uh, well and to rejoice in our sufferings. Let me read to you Romans chapter 5 verse 1 through 5. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Isn't that wonderful that not only can we rejoice in our sufferings because of who Jesus is and what he has done, but we have hope. And it is the Holy Spirit who has been given to us that enables us to endure as Christians. We do not do so by our own strength, but by the strength of God. Unlike this tree who has been enduring uh, through his own strength and he's hanging on. He is, in fact, hollowed out in the middle, but he's still alive. So I just call you to endure as a Christian. Isn't that wonderful that we can rejoice in our sufferings. Not only does suffering produce endurance, but endurance produces character. This tree has plenty of character. It's been molded with the endurance that it's gone through. And so should we. 
It should produce character. We should show uh, uh, and witness how we've grown, how God has grown us through the endurance that we've uh, gone through because he has shaped and fashioned us to his, into his likeness and glory. So I just want to encourage you to endure this time uh, that, that we're going through during this coronavirus outbreak. Thank you for listening and God bless.